What's up everyone and welcome to the club and welcome to Fortnite Friday. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited about this Marvel tie-in. So today we'll continue on that theme and draw Galactus from Fortnite. Now we're gonna get started in the center of our page and draw on the upper brow. So leaving a gap in the center, let's go to the left side and draw a curve going up. And then just bend that out towards the left. Now I'm gonna line this up on the right side and do the same thing. Going up and then bending that out. Let's go back to the inside and curl up the brow. Starting back on the left. Come in, and then bend that up, and go to the right side, and we'll do the same thing. And now we're gonna tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. Starting over on the left side, we're gonna step in to create an overlap, draw a half circle. Coming down towards the bottom of the eye, and then pull that up on the inside. Let's add the nose in between the eyes. We're gonna start by lining up with the bottom edge of the eyes, move to the center, and we'll start on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that comes down and then back up. Now we're gonna draw the mouth shifted over towards the right. So let's start back on the left side, curve down, just pull that up a little bit higher on the right side. Let's go back to the left, step in, curve the bottom of the mouth, coming down and then up towards the right corner. Let's move out and draw the inside edge of the helmet. From the top corner of the left brow, we're going to step up and draw a straight line going across from left to right. And then we'll round out the sides, starting back on the left, curve out, down. I'm just going to pull that in directly underneath the left eye, go to the right and do the same thing. Going out, down, and then in. And then from here, we're just going to curve down and in, leaving a gap in the center. Let's go back to the left side, curve down, and then just pull that in underneath the mouth, go to the right. Now from here, we're going to add the chin piece. Starting back on the left, angle up and in. The same thing on the right. Close off the top with a straight line. Now we're going to draw the bottom edge of the mask. Starting back over on the left side, angle down and in underneath the eye. Line this up on the right side. Let's bring the mask coming in towards the center between the eye and the nose. So from the left side, angle up and in. And then we'll close off the center with a curve, going up and then down. Let's move to the outside and draw the lower half of the head. From the left side, we're gonna step out, we're gonna draw a large half circle. We come down, bring that in underneath the chin, go out, and then back up on the right. Let's draw a straight line going up along the side, starting back on the left. Just gonna go up, just gonna bring that up to right about there. And then on the right, we just wanna bring that up towards the same height. And then from the top, we're going to curve in and then up towards the center point. Let's start back on the left, going up and then just bending that in towards the middle. Then this out and then down on the right side. Let's go to the points along the side, angle down and then in. And we'll pull this straight down towards the top of the head. Let's go back up to the top and curve in towards the center point. Starting back on the left, curve up, and then in, go out, and then down. Let's add that thick ridge going along the top of the head. From that center point, we're going to step up, start with a point. Now from here, it's going to follow that same curve, going out, and then down towards the left to right about there. Do the same thing on the right side. And then from the ends, we're going to angle up and out. And then again, we're going to follow that same curve, going up and in towards the middle. Let's add a trim going along the top. Start from the left corner, we're going to step down, follow that same angle line coming down and in. Line this up on the right side. And we'll connect the inside with the curve. Up in the middle, rounding this out, 
and then coming down on the right side. And then from the bottom, we're gonna step in, draw two straight lines going up. Now we're not gonna go all the way, we're gonna stop right about there. And then we'll connect the top with that same curve, going up and then down. Let's add that circle in the center of the head. From the top, we're gonna step down, draw that circle, going all the way down towards the bottom, and then back up. Let's move to the side of the head and draw in those large horns. From this line, we're gonna step over towards the side of the head, step up, draw a straight line going out, line this up on the right, go out towards the same length. I'm just gonna pull this down along the side of the head. Come down to right about there. Line this up on the right side. And then we'll angle down and in towards the side of the head. And now I'm gonna go back up to the top and draw the inside edge of the horn. From this point, angle up and out. Go to the right side and draw that same length line. And then we'll pull that back in. From this point, angle up and in. And we'll flatten off the inside with a straight line. All the way up towards the top. Now we're gonna work our way back in towards the side of the head. Let's start by marking off the outside point. From here, we're gonna step out Mark this off with a point. Do the same thing on the right, at the same distance, right about there. Now I'm gonna go up to the top and draw a straight angle line coming down towards that point. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Coming down, then out. And then from the outside, we're gonna follow that same angle line that we have on the inside. Coming down, and then into right about there. And then we'll slope this down towards the inside. And we'll pull that back in towards the side of the head. And down and a little overlap along the bottom. Now that we've drawn in the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We start over on the left side, just underneath the head. Curve the body going out. And then down towards the hip. Move over towards the right down towards the same height. Let's move in between the hips and draw on that large belt buckle. From the side, we're gonna step in, draw two points. One on the left, and then one on the right. And then from those points, we're gonna angle up and out towards the left and right. Go back to the inside, angle down and out. Then we'll connect the top of the buckle with a curve. We're gonna go up in the middle and back down and then we'll curve in the opposite direction along the bottom. Let's move back out to the hips and draw the lower edge of the belt. From the left side, we're just gonna curve this down and then in towards that bottom point. Do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna go up to that top point and follow that same curve going out towards the side of the body. Let's add a point coming out from the side of the buckle. From this point on the inside, we're gonna step out, start with a dot, and go up and in, come down and in. And we'll do the same thing on the right. We're also gonna separate the side of the belt with two lines. One on the left coming straight down, and do the same thing on the right. And I'll trace the buckle along the inside. Start with that top curve, along the bottom, and then along the sides. Let's add some detail to the body. From the top of the body on the right, we're gonna step in. It's gonna curve down, across, and then out towards the left, just up above the belt. And we'll tuck the left side in behind. From the top of the body, we're gonna step in. Start with the curve coming down and in. And we'll go straight across towards the right. I'm also gonna round out the left side. From this point, curve out and then down. 
Let's add that flap coming down across the body. From the top of the body on the right, curve down, and then in. We'll connect this point to the left side with a curve. Coming down, and then back up. I'm also going to fold in the collar. From the top right, step in, curve down, and then out. And then from the center, curve out and up underneath the head. And then we'll fill that center area in black. Now we're going to continue working down the legs. From the bottom of the buckle, we'll step down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. And then leaving a small gap in the center, go to the left side, curve the leg going out and down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the heel, curve the foot, coming down and then up. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to go back to the left side and draw on the top of the foot. From the toe, we're going to curve up and bend the foot coming down, aiming towards the heel. And then we'll move back up to the hips and draw on the side of the leg coming in behind the feet. Let's start from the left hip. Curve the leg going out and then straight down. Let's go back to the bottom corner of the belt buckle. Curve down and then out towards the side. And then from the top of the foot, we're going to step up, draw a curve, coming down and then up for the edge of the boot. Line this up on the right. Let's move back up to the bottom corner of the belt buckle, curve out and then down towards the edge of the boot. And then from the left side, we'll step down. And go down and in towards that seam. And the same thing on the right. I'm also going to add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We want to take this curve, step up, and then just trace that across. Let's move back up and draw on the arms. We're going to start halfway between the chin and the bottom of the belt. So right here, curve the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Line this up on the right side. And come down towards the same height. And then from the wrist, we're going to draw a small half circle, coming in and then out for the thumb. Connect the bottom of the thumb to the top of the wrist with a curve, going up and then in. Now we're going to add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, come down and then bend that up. Step down, curve down and up with the second finger, and then the third finger, we're going to go out, just pull that up towards the edge of the glove, it's right about there. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll curve the top of the glove coming back in towards the inside of the arm. Start on the left, coming in, and then bending that down. And then from the outside corner of the glove, we'll step in, curve the arm going up, and then in underneath the head. Now we're going to move back down to separate the top edge of each finger. Starting on the outside, curve down and up. Separate the second, and then the first finger. And then moving up to the wrist, we draw the edge of the glove, curving up and then out. Now we're going to move to the top of the arm on the inside, draw the sleeve, curving up and then out. And then from the top of the body, we're going to follow the same curve of the arm, going out and then down towards the edge of the sleeve on both sides. And that's pretty much it. There's Galactus from Fortnite. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.